27 times. His ex-girlfriend accused in the crime, and she is facing the death penalty. Tonight, an in-depth look at the case. They were a young, attractive couple, at one time seemingly happy and in love. Jody Arias and Travis Alexander met at a conference in 2006, and there was an instant connection. They lived in different states, but they were constantly in contact. Our friendship was really over the phone every night. Court documents show investigators have poured over some 82,000 pages of emails between them. They dated for five months, traveling together, even living together. I didn't hurt Travis. I would never hurt Travis. Travis was a Mormon, and Aria so devoted to him, she was baptized into the church. Family members say she took his virginity, and that sexual connection apparently lasted long after they broke up. There was sort of a breach of trust in our relationship. On June 9, 2008, prosecutors say Arias came to this home in Mesa. The two had sex, even photographing one another in the nude. As Alexander was taking a shower, prosecutors say Arias took a picture of him, then pointed a 22 caliber handgun at his head and pulled the trigger. But Alexander remained conscious, and court documents say Arias then began stabbing him repeatedly, even as he tried to escape down a hallway. 27 stab wounds in all. As he lay bleeding on the floor, prosecutors say Arias then slit his throat. In this jailhouse interview, shortly after her arrest, Arias denied even being there. I would be shaking in my boots right now if, if I had to answer to God for such a heinous crime. Thank you very much. Um, the attractive, soft-spoken Arias is a sharp contrast to the brutality of the crime. But Alexander's family told us her outward demeanor masked a much darker side. It makes me sick because I know her true side. And I ask people to please not buy into the sweet, innocent, you know, personality that she puts off. It has taken more than four years to bring the case to trial. Arias is now on her third legal defense team. Among the statements her lawyers have sought to suppress, a quote from an interview where Arias says no jury would ever convict her.